Okay, so welcome back to Fistful of Faceful. I'm with uh, Eric from the band Switchblade Jesus. Good to have you with hey. us. How you doing, bud? I'm good. And uh, you're in uh, Corpus Christi, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, uh, south, south, uh, about two hours above Mexico. Wow, okay. And, yeah, um, I'm down, down in Texas. Yeah, wait, I mean, I'm, I'm not so, I went to college in New Orleans, mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, I never really made it over to Texas, and obviously, I'm, I'm sort of familiar with the layout of the, uh, the state, you know, kind, I guess, kind of where, you know, the major, Houston, Austin, stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but you're, you're much further to the, to the border. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty pretty far down there, but it's, it's nice because I got the best food in 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 the states. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, it sounds. I I would imagine it's probably a, a dynamite place for a lot of things, but uh, food okay. in particular. Um, and I listened to. Uh, I know that the album came out in 2020, so last year. Um, but I was listening to Death Hymns today, and uh, and I I also listened to the first because I guess that's the the sophomore full-length album um yeah for the most part yeah i mean i know you've released a single and you did a split at one point um and then the the first album i think came out in 2013 and yeah. that was uh just called switchblade jesus yeah that was a a, a self-title that we uh we it, it, early in the early in the game there was a, a lot of music blogs that would uh just promote the shit out of everybody and they're really great uh my favorite one was uh heavy planet and the soda shop okay. back then those were those were the guys that those were the underground guys that you kind of listened for to see what was coming out and and what new bands are going to be kind of rolling through you know the tour wise and stuff like that so they had a uh, a contest uh, uh like a battle of the bands and we sent uh a track in a couple of tracks and they just kept climbing and somehow we placed second and a uh, by location was watching that uh that list game uh contest whatever it was and they picked us up right after that and so we rolled through that and then excuse me a lot of coffee i drink a lot of coffee. Are, yeah i know i i'm i do i go through like a pot a day myself so i build i build fuss pedals so i'm up at like three o'clock in the morning and then up at eight o'clock in the morning Roger, yeah <laughs> you know, I, I, um, for some reason i had a ruptured brain aneurysm a few years ago and okay. uh thankfully i'm i'm fine but yeah. uh but one of the side effects is i wake up at like five so Ooh. um so Just I automatically uh yeah i mean sometimes it, it's it's sometimes six sometimes four it depends but, but um, it's just roughly around there. Roughly, I mean, I I also go to sleep around nine, so it's not like I'm burning the candle at both ends. But um, yeah, that's good. But I usually start making the coffee when I wake up, and uh, since the pandemic, I've been staying at my folks' place, so I just make coffee for everyone, and yeah. uh, and just go, you know, just keep drinking till like eleven a.m. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll go through. I'll go through a pod and a half. Sure, easy. sure. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's especially if you're up that early working, you need. Yeah. To, uh, it's just it is what it is but uh yeah we uh that uh ripple picked that up in 2015 uh we we had a bunch of uh, people change around we had a bunch of things switch around uh uh one point we didn't know if we were still going to be a band uh it, it got wild and then uh we just kind of focused down and kind of figured out what we wanted to do for music wise uh chris who's our bassist right now is one of our best friends playing another band he joined us and his style's not different from Mars, but something that we you know it was heavier and progressive metal than we that we used to listen to as a kid compared to the first album that we did so bringing him on really opened that opened yeah that i was going up. to i was going to say you know one of the reasons i wanted to go back to listen to the first record was to sort of see what directions you'd moved in um you know i read about death hymns that with the addition, you know, Chris, uh, the bass player, was more of a progressive metal, you know, death metal kind of person. Mm -hmm. so, and you can hear that, um, you know, you can sort of hear that influence in a lot of tracks. Uh, for those of you not familiar with uh, the latest album, Death Hymns from Switchblade Jesus, uh, one of the things I noted, it said for fans of High on Fire, Early Mastodon, and Kylesa. And... Yeah. Uh, I mean, so you can, what's what's great is your band 
has a distinct sound. So I would be able to say, oh no, that's Switchblade Jesus. But you can certainly hear influences from the bands that I named, um, you know, just in terms of style and and stuff like that. But um, it, it it's a, uh, uh, I mean, the state of the music right now, there, there's a lot of people doing a lot of rad things, and uh, a lot of people are sticking to a few things, and a lot of people aren't evolving, in my opinion. And uh, we were able to take uh, our clutch corrosion feel of the first album and and some songs that we had going and really adapt to what we felt we loved music wise. I mean, this album is for us. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you always have to write for, for people in some kind of some way, in a, I guess, but this album was for us. And this is, you know, we wanted to really bridge that gap in a way of the stoner metal, stoner rock and the thrash sludge to what we felt was a good mix. And I think this album really kind of brought a lot of that together because yeah you you i appreciate that uh you can you can hear our influences but i want it to be us i want it to be our sound our because in a sea of sameness you know change is definitely welcome right well i i mean i again i would say it is a unique sound um when i was listening to it it wasn't like i would i would be fooled but you know by thinking this is another band but um, but just in terms of of you know if I were to compare it, you know certain styles were were definitely comparable, um, and those were all bands that I really loved. So it all worked out really okay. well. I mean, I, I I would say you've achieved what you set out to do with uh, Death Hymns. I mean, it's it's a, a combination of all the genres you talked about. You know, sort of stoner sludge with some progressive elements in there. Um, you know, obviously you're you've taken over vocal duties, so yeah. that's that's different from the original album. Um, but it's re it's really powerful stuff. I, there was a great movie I loved called "It's All Gone, Pete Tong," and it's a. Yeah. Uh, have you seen it? I know you're talking about. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a with the when his uh, manager says it gets in your chest when he's describing the new record. That's what came to mind when I was listening to Death Hymns. I thought, okay, this is getting in my chest. And awesome. uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was great. Yeah, that's a great uh, reference. Yeah, well, you know, that's that's what I uh, that's sort of where where I differentiate myself. You're not you're not necessarily going to find other podcasts making references to uh, it's all gone peep tong. <laughs> no. But um, oh, that's great. But what what yeah. was also really wonderful too is you know the the first few songs are are very much. Um, in the genre you'd mentioned, you know, the sort of fast thrash meets stoner. And then the song Death Hymns itself, it reminded me of when I would listen to like Planet Caravan would come yep. on Paranoid, you know, cause, and it's a really great melodic bass driven song that, uh, that fits the album. I mean, it's not like it comes out of left field, but, um, but it and was, that, that's how, go on, I'm sorry. Go. No, I was gonna say that's that's you know that's that's what we kind of wanted that 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 almost I, I don't want to say we were after Planet Caravan, but in that feel of that yeah when you're listening to that album and that song just kind of drops and it puts you into that mode mm -hmm. like you're rushing you're rushing you're building up you're rushing you're rushing and then it slowly brings you down, and then you have this nice little calm plane, and then all of a sudden it gets a little weird and then it gets heavier again and then the album finishes it off real heavy yeah i like I, I like chapters i like i like beginning and an end and there you know everything has to be a story in my opinion you know you, you need to you need to have the album for us for for what i write flow with the listener and have an emotional feeling that brings you through the whole thing yeah the album is 28 minutes long i mean it's as long as uh raining blood i mean mm -hmm. some some of my favorite just thrash fast albums are just real short and just beat the crap out of you but i like i really well we, we i can't say i but we we really like uh a lot of the progressive metal and cult of luna neurosis uh isis uh sumac a lot of these storytelling movements of a band and i've always wanted to incorporate that so i'm hoping people see that with you know how death how 
uh, forgotten. Oh, oh my God, I forgot my own songs. No, <laughs> how uh, how death him leads into forgotten. Oh, forgotten's not first. <laughs> how death leads into forgotten, and it's just that eerie kind of landscape, and it's real hollow in the background, and it, it feels kind of uh, religious in a way. Mm-hmm. And then you get into this tripped out part that starts leading in forgotten and then just forgotten. It's just this down tune, even the vocals, we down tune the vocals just to give it a hateful, hateful feel. Like I know the vocals are altered on that. We wanted that. Well, it's more, you know, I think it sort of harkens back to the days where records were meant to be listened to from beginning to end. Um, mm-hmm. You know, nowadays there's so many singles that get put out, people, you know, can fast, I mean, you've always been able to fast forward, but you can literally skip to the next song in a, in a minute, in a heartbeat. So I think it's great. You know, I think it's meant to be listened, like you said, so one song leads to the next and it does a great way of breaking it up. Um, there are a lot of albums that I've listened to where the songs all begin to sound the same yeah. and, and you forget what you're listening to at that moment. But it's, yeah. it's nice that there's sort of like, like you said, it's chapters and segments and it, it's sort of the story flows into the next one. So if any of this sounds good for you, for you listening out there, um, you know, songs that tell stories, uh, any of the bands we've mentioned, any of the styles we've mentioned. I mean, really, if you're into good music and you're looking for a band that's contemporary to take the place of a band that's no longer playing anymore, one of the, 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 you know, the, the great bands of those genres, then pick up some Switchblade Jesus. And by the way, I do have to ask about the name for the band. That was that, was that something? So, 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 so the name came out like a few different things and the names, uh, it's hilarious. The names are favorite and our worst thing because it's it's ridiculous and it's great everybody loves it and then some people hate it some people think it's the most stupid name in the world and that's what the, you know i love about it so the name came out from a bar fight so uh john our drummer and uh jason our old bassist there we used to play at a lot of biker bars we used to play at a lot of just just run down hellish places like everybody plays one time uh a, a fight broke out and uh everybody's just beating the crap out of each other and a buddy of theirs looks like jesus more than i do and uh he's like don't worry about it jesus has a knife and the guy pulls out a switchblade and like gets in the people's face and that's how switchblade jesus came about he was known as switchblade jesus and that it just it a long-running joke turned into the band name I, i can't remember who who said it first but for to me, I, I feel like it fits the band well. Just it's just how it came out. It wasn't like you know we're writing a bunch of names down. It was just something that was meant to be. Yeah, no, that, like those it. are those are the best types of situations where it's something that's not. It's I mean it's certainly serious in a way because people yeah. it, it could be misconstrued by people. Um, oh yeah. It it, well, it there's a I'm sorry go on. Well, we're, uh, we're Corpus Christi. So the thing that's really difficult for us is we're the body of Christ. We that's, that's our town is the body of Christ. Right. So when black metal bands come in town, they really like booking us because we're switchblade Jesus in the body of Christ. So it's, it's a fun thing for them, but locally we, we don't get that much praise at all. <laughs> like well, that, lo- lo- Locally it's difficult. <laughs> that reminds me of, um, when I, I think I saw an interview with, uh, when Chris Poland was in Megadeth, he said they would go to like Waffle House on tour and the oh, locals, yeah. the locals would ask, you know, what's, what's Megadeth? And they, and he would say, no, 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 we're a, we're a Christian rock group. It's pronounced Megadeth. Some people, some people asked us if we're a part of the Cross and the Switchblade, which right. is a book of all that. I'm like, oh man, it's, 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 no, it's not the same, but it's close. It's close. Well, it, <laughs> as I can tell <laughs> What's great also is that there's a combination of like light and dark. You know, there are a lot of paradoxes that work with the name and it's just, it's catchy too. Switchblade, I mean, it's just one of those, if back in the day, if I was in the Virgin, you know, mega store and I was going through CDs and I saw Switchblade Jesus, I would probably pick it up just for the name alone, even if I didn't know what the music was. Um, We, uh, we, we, we've gone back and forth. Like when I said, uh, we weren't sure if we were going to still play after a huge, huge member loss. 
we were talking about the names and i was like you know one reason why i really like switchblade jesus because it reminds me of white zombie just those right just those kind of names and not like white zombies always always will always be one of my top favorite bands just because the imagery and just yeah, yeah, just random nonsense but uh yeah it's, it just reminded me of those 90s yeah metal thrash bands that that i grew up with and that i loved and there's so I was like, yeah that works there's a band uh from ukraine called stoned jesus oh right. i love stone jesus right. i talk with them all the time okay. there's actually there's a band in japan called jesus switchblade and oh. they, they copied our name after so what my favorite thing to do is i support the crap out of them oh yeah and i i post their stuff and i tell my like uh fans are like you know they they got mad for a second like, no 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 don't get mad support them like it's hilarious one day i want to I want us to go to Japan and have a show of Switchblade Jesus and Jesus Switchblade. And I'll be the happiest man in the world. Yeah, I think that, that's I mean, hilarious. That's, that if that happens, essentially you've won. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah that's life is life's perfect. I don't need anything. <laughs> that's that's crossing the finish line right there. Now, for those of you listening, make sure that you pick up Switchblade Jesus first and then <laughs> Jesus Switchblade to make sure you get the right. Jesus right. Switchblade, they're great. They're like, uh, they're like uh, synth pop wave. Mm. Like, uh, I'd say like The Cure meets Nine Inch Nails meets, I don't know, maybe eighty some. They're 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 fun. Like, yeah, I, that, I think it's great. They're they're huge on Twitter. I remember. I, I, um, I think one time when he first started playing, Weird Al Yankovic was booked to open for Wendy O. Williams. And uh, because I don't think that, you know, this is like 1980 Weird Al Yankee, you know, he's just. Oh, yeah. So he's just start. Yeah. And, and no one really knew. And I remember the, you know, one of the one of his band members were saying we started playing the first song and he said you could see the people in the front row, like getting their weapons ready, you know. To, <laughs> take us out. Yeah. So I think they got rushed. Those are shows were, yeah, those shows were hardcore back then. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it, what, you know, oh, talk, talking about your name reminded me of um, when Tenacious D were at, they, I think they were playing a gig. They were asking the audience for name suggestions and the Nick game was on in the background. And Mar Marv Albert was saying that the Knicks defense, they've got some Tenacious D and that's, that's where that name, and you know, that's the name they ended yeah. up picking. But um, that's actually, you know, that, feels, that feels good. I'm going to tell the guys, I, I didn't realize that part of the movie. Like, hey guys, uh, we we kind of got a little tenacious on that one. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, it's but uh, those those names that aren't so serious, but they take, oh, yeah. they take on. You know, there's always some sort of backstory to it that's personal to the band, and then the name just takes on something of its own. But uh, it's it, it's it, yeah, it's a, it's a funny name. Uh, I I still get because you know when we go. If, if people aren't listening when you go and play big venues you have somebody take care of your merch you you don't have i mean sometimes you have a merch person in larger venues like when you're playing with the big guys but a lot of times you know they have a merch person that takes your stuff and cut and whatever blah, blah, blah. i'm not gonna get into that but uh yeah i've had so many merch people like merch individuals like i love your name this is insane this is the greatest name ever i'm like it's the most ridiculous thing ever dude like no it is so good i was like all right so <laughs> now we have because i got i got a cease and desist from uh, bucky's because i do artwork and i i was drawing the i have my guitar picks somewhere i do like i usually do like you probably can't see that that well yeah but i usually for guitar picks every year so i did one for bucky's because we're down the street from bucky's in a way and they sent me a cease and desist. So we had this artist draw up this one. It's all black metal and just it's it's like we call it a river weasel now. And like hands getting cut off and there's blood everywhere. It's like it's not yours now, it's ours. <laughs> so like we're we're planning on to do, you know, some real fun shirts and just this year just really have, you know, just really go off on it, you know, take the name, have fun. Just I think uh, we, we talked about the 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 tour shirt for this year. It's just gonna be because we didn't book any tours because I didn't know how it was going to go. Even though I'm fully vaccinated, I'm still weird about uh, venues up close. I like venues on a stage. Sure. That's just, that's just me right now. Uh, our drummer, his kid has asthma. Uh, I mean, you have to be careful with a lot of these things. Sure. 
Sure. So I really didn't book that many shows. Uh, I didn't book a tour at all because I'm, I'm not going to, because we're going to do uh, a couple of festivals. I don't want us to drive to the festival, spend 800 bucks to get there and not have any shows on the way to actually recoup that. I mean, even though the festival pays, it's, it's a whole long thing. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I didn't book anything. So my, our tour shirt is going to be TBA just all the way just the whole thing down then maybe at your mom's house on one of them yeah no i i mean it's if, what what i've always appreciated about um you know are bands that can have fun with everything you know i feel like there's so many bands out there that take themselves way too seriously and it comes through on you know on stage if something goes wrong or if people aren't reacting the way they want but um but i mean everything you've mentioned it sounds like it sounds like you're a great band to listen to, which I can attest to because I've heard the music. A great band to probably go see live. Um, oh, which yeah. I, which I haven't been able to do, but just a great band to hang out with. I mean, I, I want to hang out with you just just for the stories to tell. I mean, this is... Oh, dude, I got so many. I got like our old singer, uh, one of the one of the nice festivals that we went in. If you got a second, one of the, yeah. the nice festivals we went in. Uh, we got done. We we're playing with Orange Goblin and Kyle Lessa. And... Uh, old singer goes missing i can't find him looking all over the place everybody's calling he starts sending his pictures and he's like fuck it dude i'm in a pride parade and he's on the float taking pictures flipping people off having fun i was like yeah this, i gotta there's trust me there's a lot more to that oh, yeah, no, no, sure. to well, one day you'll have to write you know the tell-all memoir of <laughs> somebody, you know somebody asked us about that. life on the road with switchblade jesus um oh so many stupid things. oh i'm sure but yeah sure. but it's a, what's great is for those of you out there definitely check out death hymns it's a dynamite album a lot of great uh songs like i said there's not really a band out there that i've heard that sounds like you guys so if you're looking, that's, that's my goal if you're looking for sort of a new take on a combination of great thrash stoner sludge with some progressive in there uh, the bands we've mentioned, High on Fire, Kylesa, Early Mastodon, um, Neurosis, uh, stuff like that. Um, definitely worth chat. I mean, finish listening to this and then go get the record. That would be my my recommendation. And then hopefully you guys will be, you know, starting to tour soon or there's some festivals. Live. So Keep an eye out for where Switchblade Jesus is going to be next. Um, I know you guys have social media accounts on mm -hmm. on pretty much every platform, but uh, yeah, all the all the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, we have our own website. I haven't updated the website in a bit because it's I need to redo the whole website itself. But yeah, I mean, tours are starting back up, shows are starting back up. You know, it's okay. you know, thinking about next year. It's just going to be full on, full on. I mean, it's, awesome. as long as as long as the world's somewhat decent. Them, yeah. Yeah, full on, full on. <laughs> well here's here's to hoping and uh yeah, and let me know if you're gonna be in my neck of the woods at any point. Yeah. Uh but um but we'll be we'll certainly be in touch and good luck with everything. And thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Do thank you for 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 meeting with me in in this uh morning. Well, yeah. I guess it's around eleven for you. It's only 10 yeah, yeah, it's, it's, not it's all good. All good. But um <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to do this again. If you ever want to meet up or yeah. anything like that, let's definitely yeah. well, up, Yeah, and we, you know, I, I, we, we will be in touch. There are opportunities that we have to do more interviews. Um, there's yeah. a live streaming thing that we offer on the Facebook group. So whatever whatever is good, but we'll uh, we'll touch base. I also, uh, I build uh, pedals under Frost Giant Electronics. So if any of your dudes ever want to just talk pedals or yeah. gear or whatever, have me on and we can just have a, just Absolutely. a quick session about everything. Definitely. Well, and I'll, I'll, um, do you have social media for that or any? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just look up Frost Giant Electronics. Uh, my main pedal, most people know me for, it's called a massive. And then I have mountain. I just, I got tons of things. You can find me, uh, Frost Giant uh, Electronics. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wind hand uses um uh my buddy uh, neil devil driver's got a few and um, some yeah you can find me all right well i'll i'll tag that when i post the uh the interview so oh, no people, worries. well you know uh, uh, why not right i mean <laughs> i appreciate that yeah part, part of the part of the great part about our our uh, scene is people you know just helping each other out and putting people in touch so 
if this can do that, then that's awesome. But thank you, man. Have a great rest of the day. And too, uh, I will definitely tag you when this is up. Hell yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. Have a good one. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye. All right. Later.